Tonight, undercutting the president's denials of a quid pro quo, the acting White House chief of staff Mick Mulvaney with a remarkable admission. One of the reasons President Trump held up military aid to Ukraine was Mr. Trump wanted them to assist in a Justice Department investigation into the 2016 election. The look back to what happened in 2016 certainly was, was part of the thing that he was worried about in corruption with that nation. And that is absolutely appropriate. The president's request was over an unfounded allegation Democrats met with Ukraine's help in the election. Mulvaney was pressed. Was all of this a quid pro quo, which could be illegal? We do that all the time with foreign policy. I have news for everybody. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. The president has denied there was a quid pro quo during his July phone call with Ukraine's leader. There was no quid pro quo. There was no quid pro quo at all. And today, Mulvaney said the delay in military aid was not related to the president's other request for Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son Hunter. The money held up had absolutely nothing to do with Biden. Still, it's all at the heart of the impeachment inquiry, which brought another dramatic day on Capitol Hill. The ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sunland, in the hot seat. Why was it important for you to show up here today? It's always important to show up when Congress calls. Are you here to salvage your reputation, sir? I don't have a reputation to salvage. Sunland telling lawmakers behind closed doors President Trump outsourced his foreign policy on Ukraine to his personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. In his opening remarks, Sunland testifying, we were disappointed by the president's direction that we involve Mr. Giuliani. Was that a shadow foreign policy? That, that, that's, that's a term you're using. That's a, that's a pejorative. There's not, not a shadow policy here. The president is entitled to have whoever he wants to work. But late tonight, after a backlash from some of the president's allies, Mulvaney now saying his comments about Ukraine were misconstrued, even though they were on camera, saying there was absolutely no quid pro quo between Ukrainian military aid and any investigation into the 2016 election. The president defending him. Mick is a good man. I don't know. I haven't, I, I have not heard anything. Can you stop, Mr. President? Uh, I have, I have a lot of confidence. And tonight, Energy Secretary Rick Perry telling President Trump he intends to resign a move anticipated for weeks. Perry is facing a Friday deadline to comply with a subpoena from House Democrats. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.